lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the oral English tricks for test 4. Can you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us show you a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. In test 4, you are going to be provided with three sentential options, letter A to C, and the speaker is going to read one of the sentences. So you have to be smart enough to know the particular sentence that the speaker has read. One thing that you have to know is that, in this test, the focus of the speaker is not on the entire sentence, but a particular word. So the words are similar sounding. Thus, the words that the speaker's focus is on are similar sounding. So you will find similar sounding in the sentential options. Thus, in A, B, C, you're going to find words that have similar sounding. And here, you can use the knowledge of initial, medial, and final sound to equally get the answers. And here, you're going to be provided with three sentential options, as I said earlier, and the speaker will be reading one of them. So you have to be smart enough, you have to listen attentively to know the particular word the speaker has read, because the words here are similar sounding. And they might confuse you because there's only a slight difference in those words. Candidates should note that, the focus of this sentential synthesis is on a particular word and not the entire sentence. So, those words are usually in a quotation mark. When you go, you look at the words in a quotation mark, read them before the speaker reads out the sentence. So, once the speaker reads the sentence, you listen attentively for the word that is in the quotation mark or inverted commas. With this, you'll be able to find out the word the speaker has said. In this section, there are three sentences in this group. One sentence will be read to you. Listen carefully and select the option A to C that corresponds to the sentence you hear. So it is important for you to listen attentively. Let's consider the following examples. Wills, built, sealed. So, in this test, the words are not going to be read in isolation. No, they're going to be in a sentence. So, for example, we can have a sentence like Mary wrote the word silt. So, it is up to you to determine whether the speaker pronounced the word wilt, or the speaker pronounced the word built, or the speaker pronounced the word silt. Mary wrote the word silt. Let's move to the next example. Look at his words carefully. Reverse. Reserve and rehearse. These words are similar sounding, but they're not the same. Their medial sounds are different. We have reverse, reserve, and rehearse. So the speaker is going to read one of these words for you to identify the particular sentence he has read. Example The word reserve confused him. The sentence I read is sentence B. The word reserve confused him. Next example. Let's consider the following word. Goats. Coats. Coast. These words are going to be read in a sentence and it's up to you to determine the particular word the speaker has pronounced. Example. I heard the word coast. The sentence I read is sentence C. I heard the word coast. Next example. Mary spelled the word pulse. The sentence I read is sentence C. Mary spelled the word pulse. Now, get ready to answer the following questions. Number one. Can you spell worry? Number two, let me have the codes. Number three, this is a poll. Number four, the word spelled is sheet. Number five, I know his praise. Number six, 
He is wealthy. Number seven, it was a launch. Number eight, the session. Number nine, did a teacher say assets? Number ten, he didn't expect it. Number eleven. I had urge. Number twelve. Did you see his pockets? Number thirteen. It was the same grass you told us about. Number fourteen. Jane does not know the meaning of fragrance. Number fifteen, Salim claims he said yach. Number sixteen, did Kofi say bleed? Number seventeen, the word I was trying to remember is glaze. Number eighteen, it was a drain. Number nineteen, the word the teacher spells was bust. Number twenty, nobody had heard about the flock. Number twenty-one, it is not advisable to breach. Number twenty-two. Abeku knew nothing about the wedding. Number twenty-three, I heard the word laughed. Number twenty-four, did she spell the word cars? Number twenty-five, the word I was trying to remember is yet. Number twenty-six, he said, "Pray." Number twenty-seven, the word I read was "dead." Number twenty-eight, they said, "Staring." Number twenty-nine, spelled the word "nest." Number thirty, John spelled glue. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Till、so、we meet again in our next lesson. Bye for now.